Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some Tin Can. Now, I haven't played this into, uh, since it first came out, um, but apparently there's been a large update. They've added a, a second escape pod, a new event. Pretty exciting stuff, so I thought I'd come back and have a bit of a look. Um, now, this game, I got really excited playing it, and to be honest, the gimmick held me for a little bit, but then it sort of showed through this game very good. I'm not trying to be critical. It's doing some wonderful stuff here, but it's still very early on. You have to understand that at least when I last played it, the the, uh, the content is very thin and the gameplay loop the community figured out very quickly is a case of just uh, how much can you min-max throw on things in the repair machine to turn them into materials to scrap for it. Anyway, so it's a cool tech demo. It's a cool proof of concept, but um, but yeah, look, the... the, the um, the content was fairly thin on release, and it got to a point where people were on the leaderboard are trying to survive for bloody two and a half hours and all that, and that shouldn't be the case. I don't think... Well, I'm critical of any game that goes for, like, more than 30 minutes or something and doesn't let you save, because that just is not part of the modern environment that we live in. So, it had some issues, but it had some promise as well. So, it was one of those things I was happy to sort of just leave and, uh, and sort of let it percolate. So we're coming back to have a look at this new pod and see what they've done, if they've changed any of the sort of the gameplay mechanics and come along. But again, I expect that it'll be cool, it'll be some added interesting stuff and we can check in on the progress, but I'm, I'm not expecting it to be like anywhere near final state. Like I said, the gameplay loop still needs a lot of work, but I'm not too harsh on it because it's so fascinating and, and in interesting as a concept. Anyway, normal. Hardcore is where you survive for the long time if you can sort of thing, right? And sandbox. Yeah. I mean... The only thing that... That's a lie. The only thing that can kill you is yourself, because uh, I think you can still time out from oxygen and all that sort of stuff. Um, let's jump into normal anyway. Here we go. So... What looks familiar? That looks kind of familiar. Relay Station 9, so the Medusa Mark III must be the old one, and this will be the new one. Let's just jump in and have a squiz. Okay, I think we've got the same uh, thing. Uh, um, bear in mind, it's a, a one-man show, or it was, in the opening, they said they brought on a second developer, so that's good. I, I wish them many, um, uh, as much success as possible, and that's cool that the team's being shored up and there's still work. Um, I didn't know about this update. Someone commented on one of my videos and told me, so I appreciate that. Feel free to do that if you guys catch something that I don't. But um, it, it felt to me, I'm not super deep entrenched in the community, but it's not like Steam had many updates or anything like that or, or anything from the dev. So it seems to me like they've been comms dark for months and then all of a sudden they've dropped this update, which to be honest, if you're running an early access title, that's not the way to do it. You need to communicate with your... Oh, well, your community. Okay, this is cool. All right, we're straight into it, I guess. Now, is there going to be... Uh, the manual should probably be the same, right? It's looking the same so far. Main generator. Fast battery charger. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say all the mechanics are still exactly the same. Probably safe to say. Collision imminent. Oh, okay. Okay, so what's so different about this pod? We've got the master switch sort of thing. This is standard. Okay. Okay, there's our O2 recycler. There's our repair station. Here's all our oxygen stuff. Emergency lights, main lights. Okay, so... And there's the pile. And presumably the generate, main generator, right? Oh no, this will be uh, gravity. <clears throat> and that's the pile. There should be... Uh, where's, the, where's the coolant system for... Oh, Jesus Christ. It should be up high, shouldn't it? 
If I, if I walk straight past... Aha! Here it is, right, yeah. Okay, cool. Um... Right, so like, I don't, I don't want to be mean because they've rendered the entire environment, but this is just a new skin for a ship, right? Um, so not anything super radical. Oh, that's right. Whoops. F to change channel. Ow. Oops, I've just rebooted the mainframe. Medusa Pod? Hang on, is that the wrong name? Oops. Oh, it says everything's going alright. Let's investigate. Oh, Jesus. That's cool. I like that. Bad monitor. Error list. Oxygen's holding. There's not much left, though. Where is the... It's over here, isn't it? Yeah. Might as well just switch that out now. Bad monitor. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We'll leave it be. That's the repair station. That's the lights. Damaged battery. Well, that's not very good. Um, now, can I pull the battery out while it's... Uh, while it's going? I think so. Hang on. How do I drop you? Alright, we're gonna have to start bloody scrapping things. Usually we scrap the emergency lights first, right? Turn that off. Oh, here we go. We can pull the battery out and just swap it. Nice. Um, bad monitor. Yeah, I guess if we just keep an eye on everything, it seems to be but being a lot more. Uh... Well, I guess I'm not playing on the hardcore difficulty, right? This is probably a little bit more well behaved. How do I? Uh... There we go. Why won't you open? Do I have to crouch? Oh, okay. You're okay. Dirty filter. Right, you can clean the filter without taking it out. That's something I didn't realize back in the day. Dirty filter. Bad monitor. I mean... Let's be a good sport about this. Oh, something, something burst. Let's salvage that. Just because there might be people watching this for the first time, actually. I'm saying, I don't know, dismantle, dismantle. Alright, so so we did that, and then we go repair. That doesn't have enough parts. Great. Great. All right, air pressure stabilizer offline. What blew out on you? Well, not having a monitor is not helping. Even though this has got an error, let's put it back in. Yeah, bad fuse. Okay. We'll turn that off. 
grab the fuse and repair it. You could hear it trip, which was cool. Wow, okay, repairing the monitor is a big job, so we won't really worry about that. Keeping fuses alive is probably pretty important to stop surging through the system. On battery. No, you should be alright now. Yeah, bad monitor. Look, in the scheme of things, not so bad. Okay. Everything's holding together all right. O2 is good. CO2 level is low, which is good. Breathability. Yep. Yeah, so, um, yeah, this definitely feels easier than what I remember. That said, I know what I'm doing, and I guess it's because I'm playing on the sort of normal mode. Ice Nebula detected. Now, what was the best trick with that? Because it starts getting... Oh, fuck, I can't even remember. It's almost like I play a thousand different games. Um, we need the heating system on. Oh, what we want to do is turn off as many systems as possible because the power drawer uh, here will start to get unreasonable because of the ice. Cool. Seems all right so far. Pod Atmo temp. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Now we're starting to frost up. Yeah, look, see, so we're having uh, overdraw problems, right? So do I have like a flashlight? Um, it's like V or L or something. I do. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have a flashlight. Hang on. Um, look at these controls. Flashlight tap. There we go. So we should be able to turn the light system off. Should be able to turn all these off. Gravity is the last thing, and I don't really want to do it if I can help it. We should be able to turn this off as well, right? Does that make everything else go off? I can't remember. The generator's got to stay on, and this has to stay on, right? What happens if I turn off the main CPU? Oh, well, we might lose gravity then if we do that. We're getting up there. There is a repair tool as well, or even this. Getting there. Oh no, sorry, not repair tool, what am I talking about? Yeah, the, I just turned off what I was talking about. All right, so this is gonna suck. Oh, that's not good. CO2's, CO2's through the roof. Um. Oh, I've got to get used to the handles. It should scrub. You see, it's scrubbing. It is scrubbing. Oh, that's no good. I might have I might have misjudged this. It's definitely look how high it is. Oh the O2 is quite low as well. Hypoxia, here we come.
Need to know what those arrows are. Low Oxy Atmo on battery. All right, I think we've turned it around. Grabbing the handles to move around is something else. Pod temperature is holding. The pile's good. Look at the CO2 just creep up so quickly. I need to maybe just leave them on. God damn it, this fucking battery time. We might actually be able to turn that off, the temperature regulation, for a bit. There we go. So the drawer's right. We just need to watch the pod temperature. Well, actually, it looks like we're through it. We're through it. What am I doing? Give me gravity. Get everything juiced back up. All right, now if you say you're on battery, what's going on there? You're all on battery. Yeah, we should have... Yeah, the pile is coming back up now. So that should even out shortly. Dirty filter, eh? Why are you still beeping? Oh, something tripped. Bad power controller and bad transformer. Or connector, sorry. Okay, not enough. Bad, mon bad power transformer, you bastard.
repair. Oh, how's everything else going? Oh, everything else seems to be holding fairly well. Look at that, it all came good in the end. Bad monitor on battery. Don't get me on battery. Yeah, I was going to say, Jesus. Bad monitor I can handle. That's full oxygen, so I might... Oh, yeah, yeah, let's swap that now. Nice. Yeah, everything's under control. Yeah, so look, like I said, the figuring out all this stuff that I'm showcasing essentially now, you know, how to read all the things and the monitors and the bits and pieces and scrubbing everything out and knowing how to deal with the events. That was fun, learning all that stuff. But I do feel like... It it only took me a couple of episodes to get to the bottom of it. Um, so the content as it stands is, I would say, thin. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I can be critical of early access and the state that they ship in, but don't let me, uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be content dense, but it has to get across what the game is, right? I get upset when the tutorials aren't very good or, um, or if it's very tech demo. This isn't, this is a good slice. This actually really shows you what this game is and what it could be if you just, you know, put money behind it and time to, to, uh, to really fill out the content. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm still a big fan of it, but it is a game that it's sort of like, you just check in every few months. Electromagnetic power surges. I don't like that. That sounds really fucking bad. Fuck, I should have thought about the gravity situation. Uh-oh, the main pile's got a problem. This will blow out all your fuses and everything. What? Hang on. I've turned off literally everything. How is there a fuse tripping? I just heard one. CO2's coming up. That's not good. Now, I think if the main pile's off, does that mean I can't turn anything off? I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while. Seems to be working. It is scrubbing it. Breathability's coming back up. See, everything just fucking starts blowing. Something blew out in here. The fuse trips. And that's where you get all sorts of problems now. This might be the end of it.
Yeah, I, I find this electromagnetic storm thing actually a little bit more cruel than fun, to be perfectly honest. Um, and I don't think you can, you can't really eyeball what has what damage. Anyway, so you've got the idea, you've already probably got the idea, it's only been 30 minutes. And it's like, okay, well now I'm gonna have to pull this, now we're getting cold. It does telegraph, like, what what's killing you, which is cool. But now I will have to triage and pull out the couple of parts and swap it around. So like I said, the loop is actually kind of a little bit limited. It's definitely more puzzle game than an actual engineering sort of experience and that sort of stuff. It's cool. It is interesting. I, f I find the embuggerance of going without gravity, and I think a lot of people found that you kind of want to almost play all without gravity because it's not a life crucial sort of thing. It's just a, um, it's an assist. Um, but the moving around without gravity is kind of shit. Like it's really poor controls. And it's sort of like, if you want to, we'll just pause there because I'm going to finish up. But um, if you want to step back and go, okay, cool. Our gameplay mechanic is... Once people figure out what's going on, they're always going to float around in low gravity. So you're currently encouraging a gameplay mechanic where we have two modes of, you know, tra uh, travel, walking around and in gravity. And the gravity one's kind of shit without it. Like, that's the point. It's supposed to be a pain in the ass. But you need to scrap the, the tools and all that. And that seems to be one of the first things that will go because... While it's a pain in the ass, you won't die from not having gravity. So unfortunately, the way that the game's structured, if you want to look at a meta level, it's encouraging you to lean into a terrible movement mechanic intentionally. You know, like from a game development perspective, that's not very wise. Um, like it's a video game at the end of the day. I almost feel like you should just have permanent gravity in the game no matter what, unless you can come up with a better way to move around the gravity, but it's a pain in the ass. And I don't, I don't think making a game painful to play is a good way to add gameplay difficulty, right? You want to add challenge. You want to add things like that to overcome. And I, I personally think that the gravity in this game is less challenge and more embuggerance. It's more, let's make the game more unpleasant. Um, so I, I would say it's a fucking video game. Just lean into it. Take the gravity generator out of it. Have gravity on permanently. Just don't have that as part of the equation. So you can still move around and you can still lean into the main gameplay loop, which is problem solving and puzzling and running around from spot to spot and all that. And don't worry about the gravity thing. I think it's a case of you're going too hard in the sim direction going, oh, well, I suppose you could turn off gravity because it's a space thing. It's like, no, no, it's a video game first. And the experience has to be pleasant. And I think the gravity thing is a is a fuck up, uh, to be perfectly honest. But, you know, they've got the handle system and all that. Like, they've obviously thought about it and they've considered it as a gameplay concept quite a bit. But at the end of the day, it's not a very good gameplay concept. Like, I think they've realized it as best you can, but some things just aren't fun to play. Anyway, that's that's my take. Everyone might see it differently. But yeah, I, I enjoy the puzzling of working out and repairing and all that. It's still in a rudimentary stage because at the moment it is literally what can I pull out and scrap to repair other stuff to last as long as possible. That, that's a very narrow gameplay loop. Um, so it's got work to go. There's promise. Um, this update... Uh, like, I'm not trying to hammer these dudes. Good for them that they're still working. But like I said, they haven't really been telegraphing as far as I can tell what they're up to. I mean, being in their private Discord and all, that's a little bit different, right? But on the front end, on the store where you ask for money, you should probably be updating people a bit more regularly. Um, and I will say I have a, slight, a bit of concern because this is their major update, right? And by major, they've just added a different pod with a different skin, but it's not different. There's no different mechanics or anything like that. It is, in fact, identical mechanically to the other pod. It's just about, <laughs> I could argue the only real huge gameplay difference is that you're going to have to learn to navigate with the poor gravity system through a different space. So, um, I'd be like the, the zero gravity 
uh, movement because that's essentially the main difference that's happened here. Anyway, I'm not trying to be cruel. Like I said, this is cool conceptually. There's some really interesting stuff going on here, but they're moving very, very slow after launch. It's like, here we go. This is everything we've got. And now it's been months and uh, I just feel like um, you got to be careful. They, I, I, if I were to make a call, I would. It feels like they blew blew their load in the first go. It's like this is our thing, and this is all we thought of, and this is great and cool. And now maybe it's going to just sit in early access for years and not move. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, maybe that's their plan. I'm not trying to be cynical, but but that's that's how it sort of looks. It's it's moving very slowly. Again, I know it's a one man outfit, that sort of thing as well. Um, People might think I'm being mean, but at the end of the day, like I look at indie games all the time and I can judge them against each other. Um, yes, yeah, some cool stuff going on here, but this is not the big update that I thought it was going to be. Uh, this, is, this is a very small update, but unfortunately, they might think it's big because of the workload uh, when you're only like one dude or something. Anyway, check it out. See what you reckon. Um, like I said, I would be apprehensive to put money into it, to be perfectly honest, because how much value are you going to get out of it? I only played a few episodes before I figured out how the game works, the trick to the game, and the loop involved me trying to just push that loop out to two and a half hours, and I figured out, well, that's not fun. So it's fun when you're figuring it all out, but then after the first, you know, couple of hours, it's sort of like, uh, I think I'm done. But um, that's sort of just my take. Anyway, I thought I'd check in anyway because, you know, it was fairly well received when I looked at it last time. Bit of a rant on the end, but, you know, some things to talk about, some interesting points. It's an interesting game. I'd be curious where it is a year from now. Team, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.